Hi everyone, this is Mrs. A. Saranya, Assistant Professor in the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchengur. Today we are going to discuss about protein. Protein makes up approximately 20% of the human body and it is present in every single cell. The word protein is a Greek word meaning of utmost importance. Proteins are called the workhorses of life as they provide the body with structure and perform a vast array of functions. In fact, it is estimated that more than 100,000 different proteins exist within the human body. Proteins are simply or macromolecules composed of amino acids. Amino acids are commonly called proteins building blocks. Proteins are crucial for the nourishment, renewal and continuous of life. Proteins contain the elements such as carbon, hydrogen and oxygen just as carbohydrates and lipids. But proteins are the only macronutrient which contains nitrogen. So it is composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. So this is the structure of amino acid which contains hydrogen acid group COOH and the side chain which is unique to each amino acid and the amino group NH2. So the protein is classified based on its nutritional uh, value. So the protein is classified to be the complete or first class protein, partially complete or second class protein and totally incomplete protein. So the complete proteins which contains all the essential amino acids which helps in the promotion of growth and maintain the essential body processes. So the examples were the animal proteins from milk egg, fish and meat and the partially complete or second class proteins they do not contain all the essential amino acids so it should be uh, fortified with the essential amino acids so that it can make it to be a complete protein and the example will be the gliadin which is present in the wheat and the totally incomplete proteins they are deficient in lot of amino acids and are incapable of promoting the growth as well as maintaining the processes so the example for the incomplete protein will be gelatin the nutritional classification of the amino acids were essential amino acids Semi-essential or conditionally essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. The essential amino acids will be the histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan and valine and the conditionally essential amino acids were arginine, cysteine, glycine, proline and tyrosine. And the non-essential amino acids will be the alanine, asparagin, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, glutamine and serine. So the essential amino acids are the one that cannot be synthesized by our body at a rate sufficient to meet the needs of growth and maintenance and it should be uh, it should be fortified in our human diet and the non-essential amino acids are the one that body can make in adequate amounts if the nitrogen is available in the diet so the non-essential is only in the sense that they cannot be essential for as the components of the diet and the conditional essential amino acids uh, where they are needed in the diet unless the abundance amounts of their precursors are available in their synthesis. Let me see about the functions of protein. The functions of protein, they have an important role in the growth and maintenance of the tissues, formation of essential body components, and the enzymes which are uh, important for digestion or proteins and they are important role in the transport of nutrients from the intestine across the intestinal wall to the blood, from the blood to the tissues of the body and across the membranes of the cells of the tissues. And they have an important role in the regulation of water balance. The balance between the intracellular and extracellular compartments are achieved by the dissolved protons and dissolved ions primarily sodium and potassium ions and they have important role in the maintenance of appropriate pH. These proteins uh, in the blood will serve as a buffers and they can combine with the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions if the concentration of either of these determinants of the pH should rise. They have important role in the defense and detox detoxification. The toxins present in the foods are detoxified by the enzymes found mainly in the liver which convert them into the harmless substances. They are act as a source of energy. They provide 4 kilocalories of energy per gram like carbohydrates and they can be used for energy purpose only when the diet has inadequate carbohydrate and fat. The sources of protein. The sources of protein were the fishes, eggs, chicken, sprouts, nuts, almonds, lentils, milk, broccoli, seeds, etc. Thank you.